Dave, well done. But you've been the quiet man of this championship, haven't you? Well, I'm always quiet. Um, no, I, I sort of... I haven't been seen around a lot. I've been watching telly most of the week in the room because um, I've been up here so many times before and there's not really much to do during the day except watch telly, so that's what I've been doing. When you came to the semi-final against Jockey Wilson, you'd played him three times in the past and you'd lost two and, and only beaten him once. Did you think that you could eliminate him and get to the final, your first World Championship final? <clears throat> well, it's very hard playing Jockey over that amount of sets. Um, he's probably the greatest around over that amount of sets. I mean, he plays these challenge matches all through the year and he's always beaten Eric and John Lowe. And it's, over, as I said, over this amount of sets, it's very, very hard to play him. And uh, I thought I was out when I went 4-2 down. But for the first time in this championship, the cracks began to appear with Jockey Wilson because he'd been so super confident, mm. and yet he was missing things and looking a bit despondent. Were you conscious of that? Yes, I was, yeah. Um, I played him in the, in the British professional final, and he absolutely wiped the floor with me. I think he beat me 7-2 or 7-3. And I wasn't looking forward to the game very much after that as I said, over, over that long, but um, I was I was playing quite well and I thought, well, uh, he's not going to outscore me and if I have my chances at doubles, I'm going to I'm gonna get him. Whenever you had a, a good arrow, went out on a double or took a leg or took a set, he seemed to shake your hand. Yeah, that's because we're, we're best of friends. I mean, we play pairs together and, and everything and we're under the same management and we get on great. I think I'll get on, you know, better with Jockey than anyone else because I see him so often. All right, you've eliminated Jockey Wilson. You've come through for the first time to the final of the World Championship. You've never been this far in the competition before, and now it's Eric Bristow. What are your feelings about that? Well, again, that's very, very hard. I mean, as I, I've never played Eric over, over that. 13 amount. sets. Yeah, 13 sets, yeah. So it's going to be very, very hard. I mean, he's a master, really. I mean, he's the world's number one, and he lost in a final this last year. So he's going to expect to win this year. And it's going to be a very hard game. But I'm in there with a chance. He's not going to have it that easy. No disrespect at all, but watching you play, you're so deadpan and you're so <laughs> resolute. You look like a man who's come to collect the bookies' debts. <laughs> What's going on in the mind? No, I mean, they've always asked me this, and the other dark players always seem to jump up and put their arms in the air. Well, I've tried that in the past, and it's done nothing for me. It just gets the crowd going, and then I've played bad afterwards. But So I just keep quiet and get on with the game, and hopefully, you know, win. And it all seems to work. And what's the, the tactic, do you think? What's the approach that might make you the world champion? The approach? How are you going to play it? Well, I'm just going to play the same as I always play. I'm just going to get out there and get on with it and hope to win. And at well past midnight, there are now less than 15 hours to fret and wonder about that final. And who, I wonder, will sleep the soundest? Dave Whitcomb through to his first embassy world professional final, or Eric Bristow, who's been that way three times before, and has twice emerged the winner. Tonight, the bookies make Bristow three to one on favorite with Whitcomb offered at nine to four. And both men I know are watching this late night transmission. And so we wish you sweet dreams for the final tomorrow. A marathon 13 sets, which you can see live in Grandstand starting at three o'clock with further coverage on BBC Two at 4.45. Dave Whitcomb has already knocked over Jockey Wilson. Can he do the same now to Eric Bristow? Good night. <laughs>